Oi, oi, oi. All right, the microphone is on. So I've actually had a couple of people complain about the audio. So I've increased the microphone gain by oh, somewhat quite a bit. So I'm guessing that if I don't hear too many more complaints about, I mean, it's not that many of you, but the problem is sometimes it gets too loud. But the problem is I got speakers, I've got all this other crap, so maybe so maybe the audio might... So hopefully the audio is a little better. But uh, the problem is it's going to get so loud that, you know, the problem's not my end, it's you, because that means you have hearing damage. And, well, you know, so... Anyway, uh, hold on, so let's do that. So, anyway... Uh, so I'll keep I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I mean, I always find it annoying when people complain about the audio volume, but I mean, it is what it is, and you know, you guys might be right, guys and gals. So fine, whatever. Okay, so actually, I gotta drink some water here. Make sure I keep those frogs at bay. <clears throat> so it's been quite a journey for me, and I guess for some of us or a lot of us. But yeah, Congren used to be Metaverse Pro. And, you know, well, we all know the story about that now, right? So pretty much, uh, you know, I aped in completely into Metaverse Pro. Turned out to be the worst investment decision in my life, or close to that, actually, because technically I didn't lose all my money yet. All right, and now that I'm doing this video, I won't. So, you know, basically I'm down, I want to say $60,000 on Metaverse Pro. That now has become congruent. And now that I actually see them covered in some kind of mainstream news, which is what we'll look at quickly, Coindesk, right? Yeah, so I knew I was going to get our money back, right, if you just held, right? But my complaint was it was going to take forever. But seeing this, right, you know, because of the whole Andre, Cronje, FUD, and whatever, I still have to see some of his, a couple of his simps in my YouTube comments, so whatever. They've made this guy their god. That's why, like, that's why, like, they're gonna lose all their money. All right, that's that's not, all right. DeFi is supposed to be about everyone. All right, you don't want it to be centralized in any one person or project or whatever. Right, because that's the point of DeFi. It's decentralized. When you put all your eggs in one basket or a couple of baskets, that's hyper centralized. You want hyper centralized? Just go buy stocks. Right, buy J.P. Morgan or oil and gas companies like Exxon Mobil, right? You, you, you know, it's like, you know, the point of crypto is to be the complete opposite of that. You know, there's nothing wrong with buying centralized projects, but just know what you're doing, right? So, <clears throat> anyway, so it's like, uh, it's, like, I can definitely see why Phantom is just like constantly like a shitty blockchain. It's like, it, it, we got... So I'm got, but I'm glad that people are starting to kind of wake up, I think, and things are improving. So hopefully... Phantom will stop, you know, doing what it's doing, right? And then actually just do the work. Because Phantom Foundation did say, like, they're going to try to, like... They're so far behind the curve, but at least they're doing something, I guess. So anyway, that's Andre Kranje. That's what this article is about. I don't really care that much, because I already talked about it at Infinitum. But what really matters is the fact that they actually talked about congruent finance in a mainstream new, um, news media. And specifically what this is talking about, they actually said that Congruent has actually uh, actually basically partnered with Curve Finance itself, right? Or at least, oh man, create uh, layer two for Curve.Fi, okay. Yeah, so they are partnered with Curve Finance. They should actually, first of all, they should have actually did the real one but fine whatever so they're doing a layer two curve swap so this is probably just a brand new no they still from old ones right blah 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 all right fine well whatever they got mainstream coverage right and they're forking from andre kranja and the andre neil dude actually i care did he block me i didn't i didn't talk shit to him not directly all right well what are you oh, they, they don't give him a they didn't give him a check mark. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, and all the all of us here are in here. That's good. All right. So anyway, they got mainstream coverage. I don't really care. And they're obviously gonna have to try to fix the bribe curve finance thing or whatever. Yeah. 
I don't care. So I just noticed that for whatever reason, Congruent was doing better. I should have actually gotten the deck screener for this. Like, let's see, Congruent, where is, hold on, I'm on my Chrome. All right, so Congruent is, oh, 1776, the year America was basically born. Okay, so it works for me, right? Congruent, uh, let's see, four hours. Yeah, it went a little bit too high, and then we had the little rush of FUD stuff. But basically, it's, you know, heading towards $1,800. Fine, because at one point, I was like down to like $1,500, $1,600. Like, my God. So, all right. So basically, because again, I need to keep this short. I'm going to go back to my normal Tomb Fork stuff, because, you know, there's a reason why I don't do any more Congruent video uh, much anymore, because there's not much to talk about. Number two, I, I'm officially removed from all the policy team stuff, so fine, whatever. I mean, I did say I wanted to quit, essentially, so that's fine. And, yeah, it was actually, yeah, so basically I'm like, you know, the, it's like, are we going to get our money back? So, so far, it's looking very good, right? I mean, again, what do I always say about the risk in any project you invest in? It's a rug pull scam. Obviously, that's not the case here. All right, because I already talked about that when I first, you know, did my videos on Congress Metaverse Pro months back then, not realizing that I was about to make the biggest mistake in my life, but turned out to be also a great opportunity because, you know, God is guiding me, right? So I don't want to I don't want to make this video too long, but basically I can see where this is all headed, at least for me personally. So I'm definitely going to become like, you know, like a Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan type, but for the hopefully for the good side, all right? You know, instead of being, like, the asshole that's currently raping this world. Like, literally, right? I mean, there's a reason why there's a Ukraine war going on, all right? Because that's how the Satanists play, the central banks play. You know, they, they, they kill or, you know, slaughter or, what's the word? Oppress innocent people, lots of them, just so they can inflate the debt and create more money out of thin air, right? Wars are a fantastic way to do that, all right? In fact... Have you noticed that ever since World War II, we've had all these crazy things go on? That's the reason, right? You know, there's some talk that says, oh, World War II did not boost the economy or whatever. That's bullshit, right? It totally boosted the economy. And in fact, that's why we have all the problems that we have now because of World War II. Because back then, the Satanists and central bankers ultimately realized, holy shit, we went from a Great Depression to like the greatest thing ever, right? Because America was basically the richest country in the world. So what do you think that does to people? And they've been passing that on since then. So I don't know why I keep rubbing my hands like that. So it's just really messed up, but you know, whatever. God's coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back with his swords. So, you know, it, it'll be fun in the end. So, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll just keep making money and chilling, right? And then you guys and gals will do whatever you want. Okay. So yeah, so we'll get our money back and I think it might be a little bit faster, right? Which is fine by me, but I'm still gonna think, it, I'm still thinking it's gonna be three to six months before, because Calgary has to do a lot of coding work, but at least they're doing something. And let's see, can I finally see their, can I finally see the treasury? Thank God, this was so annoying, because every time I tried checking the treasury, it was just like, it just wouldn't show up. Okay, so they haven't really changed the thing on the thing. All right, the APR is slowly going down. That's fine. What's the rebase, by, by the way? Yeah, I, I don't even know anymore. Is it every hour, every 30 minutes, or every eight hours? So the treasury is still stuck at 19.4 million. So I guess they're spending the money right now. All right, so it's going to be a while then. Okay, because obviously, you know, if the treasury right now, let's say the treasury was like $100 million, so basically a 5x, well, then, yeah, gas price should be a lot higher. So, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, so, okay, maybe we're not going to get our money back in three to six months. Yeah. Well, it's going to take a while, that's that, that's basically what's what I'm basically saying, That that is for sure, so, you know. I don't really care what they do, right, you know, as long as they keep growing it, and they're obviously working very hard, and there's really no point in abandoning the project, because it's a pretty big deal to be covered by the actual news, right, and how many of you would like it if, you know, Bloomberg or 
Coin Telegraph, which is Coin Desk, all right, or you know Yahoo Finance covers you, all right. You know the George guy, Cryptos Are Us, right? I am George. We're all George guy. He was on Yahoo Finance, like actually Yahoo Finance Live for like one or two interviews, so they could talk about crypto. It's a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal. So, so it's looking good. You know, you just gotta be patient. You just gotta wait. Uh, from what I can tell, they haven't paid out dividends yet, right? And me personally, I don't think I'm gonna dump like I originally intended because I really want my sixty grand back. I mean, at this point, I mean, by the time that this thing actually starts, you know, it's at the point where I could actually just get rid of my gas shares and just be, and just you know, leave the project altogether. I mean, I'm already gonna have to rebuilt my entire income anyway, right? Tomb forks, Titano forks, and now you know, Joe the Boomer stuff. Right? I'm gonna do a exclusive video about that when I have a little bit of time right because I'm in, because now I'm going into the osmosis you know cosmos blockchain ecosystem so that's like a kind of completely different thing it's a pain in the ass to move money into that and I just don't have spare funds to really do it so I have like $92.80 in uh in, in this osmosis app right so you know so yeah Right, because obviously I'm fully concentrated on Tomb Forks, and I've been beefing up the hell out of my Caesar Finance. That thing just doesn't know how to go down, which is great. In fact, it had a little bit dip, uh, a dip sometime last night, so I bought you know a little bit more of that. I also forgot to take profit last night, so it's like, ugh. Yeah, but anyway, all right. So I better stop rambling before this becomes unnecessary long. Uh, so you guys can, and gals can do whatever you want. But obviously, I'm forced to just hold this. But it's looking good. It's looking good. And don't ask me about the airdrops. Like, I don't know why I still get people asking me about the airdrops. It's like, it was, the instructions were clear. You had to stake Meta M before January 31st of this year to get the snapshot. If you don't do it, you're screwed. So why are you bothering me about it? Like, you, I'm sorry. You, you just lost. And if you did do it correctly, why are you still asking me about it? Just go onto the Ethereum blockchain, add the tokens for gas, WS gas, etc., and then just go look at how much money you have. Like I, I like, like don't ask me for tech support questions. I will not answer them. All right, I'm not going to be an asshole and you know comment or reply because it's not worth my time. But just go on the Discord for congruent finance and then just ask there. Like I again, I don't know why people ask me. Like this is this channel's for really for intermediate to advanced users. Don't ask me more basic, you know, tech support questions are beginner or basic level stuff. Don't ask me for that. All right, I get I actually well, I shouldn't get annoyed because that means I'm angry, but I just don't want to hear it, okay? Because I'm just not going to answer it. All right, maybe on occasion I will, but it's like kind of like you know like like pigeons. All right, Rushvi used to have, give a story. Right. That actually happened. It's like if I feed a pigeon, then all of a sudden, like 50,000 other pigeons comes in and then they swarm me. It's like, oh, geez, I'd rather just not feed the pigeons. So that that's basically how I view tech support questions. All right. You know, because I'm wasting my time answering tech, your tech support questions. I'm not doing the important stuff like this video, analyzing tomb forts. What positions are we in? How much money are we making and losing? All right. What are the central bankers doing? Okay, you know I don't want to be wasting my time with, hey I you know didn't follow the instructions and even though I follow the instructions where's my money? It's like, <sighs> come on man. So anyway, yeah so that's it. You know I'll I'll see what the rewards are when you know Congress Finance finally develops all their stuff right because it's they're taking forever. Right, because again, they're they're just needlessly overly complicated. It's just kind of frustrating. But you know, they 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 they're basically running like a big government type of thing. So big governments do work, but they're just so slow. Yeah, uh, eh, whatever. You know, that's just how it goes. Hey, it could have been worse. It could have actually went Jade Protocol, right? You guys remember those, right? And, and then just are, is there what domain even there? Jade Protocol. Are they still straight? Oh, their website's still there. Uh, right now, the Jade price, because my camera's covering, is $21.50. Uh, the floor price is $20.93. Oh, they're still around. Are they still tweeting? 
Oh, wow. I have to admit, I'm actually impressed. I actually thought they were just gone. Oh, this is, a, this is another thing you have to be careful of. Now everyone, because of the Ukraine war, they're all now saying that all the developers are in Ukraine, and that's clearly bullshit. So just, just got to be aware that people are now taking advantage of... Uh, uh, funner. Okay. All right, well, I would never... I still would never touch this piece of shit. I mean, I even see Dow King following this project, so that's pretty hilarious. Uh, I'm not touching this shit project, though. It's like, I mean, if you guys really want to go for it, I mean, go for it. But I will admit, I was actually surprised that they're still here. I actually was expecting that the domain would not be alive, and then their Twitter would just be gone. But they're actually still here. But, yeah. But, yeah, the price, I mean, this product still sucks, right? I mean, look. I mean, are you even getting any income from this project, <laughs> right? And even if you did, I mean, it's not. I'd rather have a tomb fork, all right? I mean, it's like two forces, two Titano and Titano and the Titanos and Titan, Titano forks and Titano and tomb forks really are just superior to everything else, all right? I just just give me money right now, so. Anyway, that's a quick update on Congrid. I think this might be the last video I'll do for a long time. So maybe uh, I'll do another video on Congrid uh, when they start paying out dividends. I I'm thinking that's around where I'm thinking. Or maybe something major news happens. So for those of you who are still in Congrid, some for somehow, uh, well, you know, well, good news. You'll get your money back. Bad news. It's going to take forever. Hey, that's just how it goes, right? See? See, don't do the stupid mistake I did, which is put all your money in one basket and then you get fucked in the ass without, you know, your without your consent. And then it really hurts for a very long time. All right. That's why I will never make this stupid mistake ever again. And it's going to serve me well for the rest of my life because imagine I was Donald Trump. Well, the good aspects of Trump, right? Yeah, he's a good guy. But he's just held back like being a boomer. Right. But, you know. Like, what if I was like Trump, I had two, three billion dollars of B, and then I almost lose it all, right? Because that's what happened to him in the late 80s to early 90s, right? And he talks about that in his books, right? Can you imagine making that kind of mistake and then have to recover from all that, you know? I got a taste of exactly what that was when I went into Metaverse Pro and now Congruent, right? You know, four years of hard work, right? Because I really, because I made it big in 2017, 2018, right? Because I called, because I called the top. I told everyone I'm calling the top, right? So, again, people listen to me, got all the money they could. Those who didn't just got completely destroyed. But I didn't actually have anyone tell me uh, that they got destroyed. All I heard was, oh, yeah, you called it, man. Thanks. You know, saved me all my money. So, you know, so all that money, right, 254 grand when all was said and done, and then four years of waiting, right? And then I went into the Metaverse Pro, so not only do I lose, you know, whatever available cash I had, because I still had reserves and all that other stuff, but four years of hard work. And don't forget, I also took losses in the stock market because I didn't know about, you know, the COVID shit and then everything, you know, all the manipulation. So just all sorts of bad, stupid shit. It's like, my God, I can't be taking these hits. So, yeah. So now I know. It's like, oh, yeah, just... Uh, just put a little bit of money in and buy a little and sell a little every single day. And then, you know, you got to find a place to park your money safely, right? And I, it, that's actually the most difficult thing. But again, now that God is having me finally take a look at the Osmosis and Cosmos blockchain system, that's actually where I'm going to put. So if I had like $50 million, right, and I've got like $5 million doing all that crazy high risk, where do I put the $45 million? Yeah, it's going right into this. All right, I'm gonna do when I do my uh, osmosis. Is it 560? Yeah, when I do my video on osmosis again and like the actual thing, this is where I would put all my money. Right, there's right now 282.4 million dollars, and it's UST, uh, Terra US dollars, stable coin, decentralized, and osmosis. All right, and basically, and I'm obviously just going to lock this in forever. So I'm going to be making about 135% a year. And on occasion, you actually get a bunch of bonus uh, cryptocurrencies. In this case, it's Terra Luna coins, which is 
Number seven in the world, right? In Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko. All right. Because what? What? Because what do we? Because when you're storing money, what do you actually want to do? You want to store as much stable coins, all right? Because I actually have to make a video on that too, all right? Because I actually looked at my old stable coin video. Yeah, that thing was uh, before I learned how to do the Toon Fork stuff. So I, so it's the SEO on it is so bad. I gotta redo the whole content on that. So this is where I'm gonna park my money. All right, if you go to pools, which they should really try to improve. The, I mean, the UI looks really good, but it's so user unfriendly and clunky and just like very bad. Like that's actually what holds this uh, blockchain back, but. It's not holding them back that much. So if you look at the top, see here's the thing. Look at where, look how hard it is for me to find the top pools. So the top pools on Osmosis, and this is just one of the sub blockchains on the uh, on the IBC or the Inner Blockchain Continental thing. All right, basically it's their version of you know Ethereum, Phantom, Avalanche, etc. Right. Look, I can even do Adam Osmo, and there's like $582 million in this. Oh my god, I just clicked it. Now I have to browse back. Oh, thank god, I don't have to do that. All right? But maybe you don't want to do Osmo. You can do Terra Luna in UST. All right? But there's a lot less in it because I think you get more yield. See, I can't even do right click on this. Yeah, because the 14, yeah, because the yield is so much lower. So you might as well just do Osmo and UST. So even if Osmos goes down a lot, you know, a lot of your liquidity is still, you know, in U.S. dollars, like actual U.S. dollars. So there's still a permanent loss as well. So, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'd be happy to just put it in here. And if I'm really paranoid, then yeah, I'll do beefy finance, just do pure stablecoin farming, and get my shitty five to twenty percent, and then on the occasion get the juicy sixty to eighty percent. I don't know why the APRs go all over the place. So, all right. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be about Code 7 Finance. I'm not going to invest in it, but a lot of people seem to really like it. So I'll cover it, get the SEO, get the traffic, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, just hang tight, do other things, you know, and then congruent, you know, when, when that slow moving giant finally gets kind of going, right, you know, you know, it'll, you know, you'll eventually get all your dough back, right? So... Uh, yeah, just gotta wait and do other things. Oh well, that's how it goes, right? See you next video. Like, subscribe, share the share the content, etc., etc. Right? Because the more people that do all this stuff, you know, the more money we all make, right? And it helps everybody. So, you know, yeah, spread uh, spread it around. Thanks. <laughs> the phrasing on that.